Hi, junk and buddies. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? You really should, because we're going junking again. Okay, what is that? <laughs> right? It's a doorstep. It's a mouse doorstep. So my great aunt made these like a long time ago. And I'm now trying to get rid of one. it is but you might end up as a donation anyway so I'm on my way to pick up a kidlet my number one Jenga buddy she's at school and the thrift store right by her house or right by her school is where I'm gonna go and kill some time today so yeah let's go see what trouble we get I think I might have a frequent buyer card in there it's somewhere I, I know, I, I don't know if it's full, but I'll check. If I if it is full, then I've got $10 to spend for sure. Um, other than that, I am kind of broke. <laughs> I have been picking up stuff for Junk Bonanza. So um, I have a booth at the Minneapolis Junk Bonanza. So if you guys read Flea Market Style Magazine, she, uh, Kai puts together these shows in different parts of the country called Junk Bonanza. Minneapolis has one because she's from Minnesota. All the awesome people are. And uh, <laughs> I've been picking up pieces that I need for Junk Bonanza and I kind of pay up for them because A, I can get more at Junk Bonanza and B, I need them. Like my booth, I need this table so I paid $45 for a folding table. Folding is like, if you have to pack a van for an event like Junk Bonanza, then you know, like tables with the legs and the, oh, uh, the legs don't come off or it doesn't fold. They're kind of a pain in the butt to pack and they take up a bunch of space. So I needed to get something for the center of the booth. And I found one of the other vendors at Picket Fence Gals, Lisa, hi Lisa had this fantastic vintage um, farmhouse sort of table that folds like an old wooden card table. It's awesome. And I'm like, that's exactly what I need. So I popped on that for 45 bucks because I need it. But now I'm going broke. But I might still have a few bucks tucked away for a uh, junking adventure. So let's go see what they've got. So I'm gonna take a peek and see what, this is the Family Pathways in Forest Lake and see if they've got any treasures for me today. Who knows? They just might. Their prices are staggeringly high on some stuff, but green tags were 50% off. So I kind of went hunting some green tags and I found some. So let me get over to my daughter's school in the parking lot and I will show you everything I got. Woo, okay, so I'm in the daughter, the, my daughter's school parking lot and I'm waiting to pick her up. It is freezing here. I hate the cold. Why do I live in Minnesota? So, mm -hmm. one of the things about the Hashimoto's that I have is I can't regulate my own body temperature. So, if I get cold, I stay cold. So, I have to go home and like boil myself in a shower. It's the worst. Anyway, I got some wonderful treasures. Um, I'm going to start out with this. It's a flower girl basket. Let's see cute little flower girl basket and green tags were 50% off. Uh, it was $3, so $1.50. And I mentioned before I'm doing a wedding vignette in my booth and this is going to be part of that. So that'll be super cute there. I've got a little flower girl basket. I almost bought a wedding dress and I didn't because I remembered I have a wedding dress, like a couple of them. So I'll have to um, dig one of those out possibly put it in in the vignette. 
this wedding dress was a size zero gorgeous just lace top sheer gown and they had it it was green tag and that's what sort of prompted me to want to get it and it was 30 bucks still had the tags on it it was a $400 gown and I'm like finally said no. Seriously wanted to get it and put it on Poshmark. Because you know darn well for 15 bucks I could turn around and sell that sucker for 100 but then you gotta find a size zero bride. Um, this is a really cute little frame. I like the color. I like the little bling that's on it. It was $2. It is filthy dirty. So like this. Ugh is nasty greasy and dirty the glass it's got to be cleaned up real good before this goes anywhere but I, I I sell frames all the time I sell painted frames all the time I should say I paint them blue and people want them okay so these are to keep the bugs off your food at a picnic I'm buying these up for my mother-in-law's lake place it's nice to have when you're sitting outside and you you know your food out and it's a nice little tent so those were 250 oh the frame I forgot the frame I'm probably gonna charge um, probably at six bucks for pay two dollars for it I will charge six bucks in the booth for it and I'll get it this dollar fifty I don't even know what I'm gonna charge on this I don't know five six bucks put it out there for it's just to fill in the vignette speaking of the vignette it is a really, really cute wedding figurine from Wil Wilton. I just want to say Wilson. It was $4. It had been at their store for $2.80, a different store. $4 is what I paid for it, $4.50. And I think it's cute. I really do. She's dragging her groom up the cake. That'll be in my wedding vignette. He's, he's like... He's like seriously ripping on. You see him like, <laughs> there's like claw marks on it. He does not want to be there. Lighthearted and whimsical wedding figurines bring a smile to every bride and groom. Great on cake toppers, accent pieces, centerpieces, which is probably what I'll do with it. It'll, it'll become a centerpiece. So, oh, and I'll probably charge, I don't know, 10 bucks for it. This is Cornwall Industries. Two fifty. It's obviously a jewelry hanger. I got this for display. It's wobbly. Needs to be repaired, and I'm gonna paint it. And I'm going to hang my vintage jewelry pieces that I sell from it to have some. And you know, it can use it for Christmas ornaments at Christmas time. I like finding display pieces when I can, and I like that I only paid two fifty for it. So I had once made something like this out of old spindles and a little base piece and I put some little knobs and stuff off the side. Somebody bought it off me. And then I regretted it. I was like, why, why did I sell it? Why did I say yes? <laughs> Stop selling your display pieces. So this is probably gonna get either a white or a blue coat of paint and then uh, repair to this base that's just all spinny. Like, I tried to tighten that sucker. It was not going for it. And the screw is well and truly stripped. Uh, that'll be fun. Uh, but for $2.50, I will, I will take it. Speaking of, I will take it. These are for me. <laughs> Why did I buy these? They're brand new. Um, they have not been worn. Brand new. Green tagged. $10.50. So that made it $5.25 for a brand new pair of these really cute ton of shoes. And they kind of have a nice little lift on them. You know what? I think I got overcharged. One gleaming second, lady. Get the green tags. Oh 
missing showing you something though because 252. Nope, that's everything. Well, there you go. That's everything. Oh, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. Why? 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 And, you know, I almost put them back. And then I thought there's gonna come a time when I'm gonna be like, I should have bought those shoes when I saw them. So these were one of those shoes that would make me say that. I like the wingtip look about them. So they're like a pink wingtip. They are a faux suede. I doubt this is real suede. It's like literally no information in there. None. There's no information on who manufactured them. So I'm guessing like a Target thing or a Walmart thing. Yeah, they're not super quality or anything like that. They're very light, slightly flimsy, but I just think they're cute. So sometimes you do things just because you think they're cute. <laughs> and you know, it's pink. So why not? But that's everything I got. So not a huge haul, but some things that I needed, especially this. Y'all, stop selling your display pieces. So I, I knew if I made another really funky, cool one, somebody was gonna wanna buy it. This one, maybe not. I guess I don't have to sell the really funky, cool one, but they gave me a really good price. I put on, so what I do, and this is the tip that I got from the Picket Fence Gals, is you price your displays at a crazy high price so that if somebody did want it worse than you, they would have to pay this crazy high price and then uh your pain threshold for losing your display piece is a lot lower because you're like well it's a good problem to have and they just gave me 300 bucks <laughs> it happened to me i i had a can and i put 300 dollars on it because i thought nobody will pay 300 dollars for it and then i don't have that person that's irritated that i didn't put a price on something and they paid it that's what I had done on the really funky cool uh, jewelry holder and somebody paid it good problem to have but on this one I probably won't put a price on it I don't know. maybe somebody will want it maybe they won't I wanted it I needed it so there you go get what you need, sometimes you get what you want, and sometimes you get things just because they're pretty. So thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please give it a big thumbs up. Always love to hear from you in the comments. And thanks for watching. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, PeonyLaneDesigns.com for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.